everyone, my name is Blissful Melissa and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Now before we get started, I just want you all to know that I've been here with the animals for a hot second. And uh, there may or may not have been tears shed because look how fucking cute this baby Niffler is. We named him Silas and he is so small. Like, he is so small! Look at his picture! Look at his picture! Look at that face! Oh, yeah, he literally- Daisy, you're really cute too. Let's look at Daisy's picture. Cute. Uh, but Silas is just... different. This is his father, <laughs> the, the Iron Tail Pilfer! <laughs> so he's like this cute, like, blue-green color, but like, oh my god. Yes, y'all are cute too, but okay. I have to show you all another adorable baby. Also, new fit check. I think we just changed the coat. I don't know. I tried on so many different outfits. Kind of forgot what I was wearing originally, but I'm like, it's winter. We'll put on the, our winter leather coat. We gotta show our school spirit a bit, but as soon as spring hits, you know we're back into our adventuring fits. Okay, we already saw all of them. Oh my goodness. Y'all are gonna freak out when you see the baby Puff Skeed. Mm, not it. Lubs is small. Tubbs, Tubbs a big gal and we love it. Oh my god, here it comes. It's Junior! It's so small and adorable and I love I just love hi loves you're so cute too oh my god loves look at them go look I have a family of puffskies <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I have to go I'm literally doing up again it's so cute they're so cute okay now pull myself together. <laughs> I literally have just been in there just crying over how cute they are. <laughs> like, it's so silly. <laughs> but, oh my god. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Let's get back to uh, the story, right? This is our great room requirement. We have too many chomping cabbages. But I can't collect them so we need to uh, start throwing chomping cabbages in fights. Because like I have too many already. I got too many. <laughs> and then I still have like four more planted back here. So, you know... Yeah, or three, sorry. Too many, too many. So we need to start using those, okay? So next battle, we gotta just start chucking. Chucking these chomping cabbages at everybody. So we have a lot of little quests that are here. Okay. Can we just talk about this for a second? I have tried. I have done this match four times. And either tie or lose. This chick literally gets a perfect. And I'm like, I get a perfect too. Then what? Then it's like, what a try again? And I'm like, she doesn't lose. <laughs> um, we're gonna speak to Daddy and like finish that. I kind of forgot in the last part that like she sent us mail that we should go speak to her. But we also have like random people around here to like talk to as well. Oh? Wait, we already learned Defendo, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Because I was like, I literally did that before y'all got here. Okay, we're going to talk to Daddy, though. <laughs> and then we'll... This is so the Summer's Court quest out here. Who is... What quest is here? 
Okay, we just went somewhere. I don't know where we went, but it's okay. <laughs> How are you all today? My day's going great. I'm just <laughs> crying over cute creatures that don't exist. It's great. <laughs> My day is doing fantastic. I've been trying to find more demigod statues. I found the one in like the Great Hall area in that little like side office bit, but I'm determined to find them all. <laughs> so in, in my in my spare time, I've been doing Merlin trials, because I swear they're never ending, and looking for Timmy Guy statues as well. Well Also I'm trying to find how to get to the clockwork tower. Not the tower, but like the base of the clock. And I am really struggling. And I feel like now that I've just said this, I can kind of picture how to get there. So never mind. There is someone who wants to talk to me down here though. No. Where are they? Here? Are they upstairs? They're probably upstairs. No, they're downstairs. We just came from up here. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. Evangeline. Pardon me. Is everything all right? No. No, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. What? I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Wait! Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to we help love Adelaide. Back. We've always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. That's cute. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. We? I may have already fixed the bells in like my own running Perhaps around. I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. Are you sure? You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. We've already done this. Yes. I imagine the bells are just in... The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wait. wish I could see his face. We've done this already. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And Thanks, I hope that you do as well. You don't well. know how much this means for me <laughs> and for Hogwarts. Cool. I was like, oh man. I didn't realize it was a quest. I thought it was just like a thing. Okay, so the bell tower is the Summoner's Court. Who is this? Apparently, his assignment round two? We'll come back to that. I'm not super worried about it. Like, I already learned to fit though. Unless there's like, I don't know. Me. Now that I think about it, though, I haven't saved so far. So I might do that real quick. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should, because I've, I've been playing for an hour already, but shh. <laughs> Literally just looking for Demi Guy statues, and I only found one in my endeavors. <laughs> it was pretty sad. Also, Christmas time. Okay. Let's. Whoa. We have 37 hours in this game. That's crazy. Also, what's new here? Ooh. Ooh. Play assignments. Obviously, we're, we're working on the main story. And then 
How many did we need to do? Eight out of 32. <laughs> the lucky leprechaun. Like, this is insane. We're, we're lacking in this area, apparently. What is this for? Breed beasts. Rescue, like, all the beasts. Hey, we've been upgrading our gear, though. I will say that. We changed it around, so we have more powerful stuff on. Also, look at this. Oh, Christmas at Hogwarts. It was snowy to stay out here. To speak with you. So, it's very fitting. Is this a chest that I haven't opened? Oh, it's open. <laughs> hi, girl, hi! I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Ooh. She's been proud of you. I mean, you did get captured. Her concern is warranted, okay? You were captured by the Ashwinders. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous activities. As the Ashwinders were locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Hallo is as strong as ever. Someone I to stop him. Whether it is us or Officer think Singer. Officer Singer's if bad. someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabilliland, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his Aww. back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Mm. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? I mean... Well, we actually As know you saw, <laughs> what she, she worries thinks. a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. You and me we against the world, huh? <laughs> and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. You know what? Not one person I've been running around. The people in Hogs Mead have more appreciation for me. It's fine. I'm the what the, the troll. I'm the troll gal. Okay. 
So we are just gonna do the third trial, like I said. Um, isn't it one of the secret rooms? Can't I just like a map chamber? Do I just roll up down there? Do I have to talk to Fig first? Is Fig just waiting down here? I don't remember how this whole trial thing is work. They're gonna reveal on the floor a place for us to go, and I'm gonna think I know where it is, but then I look on the map and I'll be like, JK never been there, had no idea. <laughs> it's gonna be great. In my fit, we're so stylish and cute. Ready for all the adventures out here. Welcome back. Hey girl, hi. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. Yeah. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. So I have to learn level three Alohomora. How do we get out of here? How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what Wait, to do. Wait, what's down here? Oh. Oh, this was like where we came, right? Gotta go talk to the homeboy, Professor Fig. How far I'm away nice is Professor Fig? Wait, can I just run there? He's pretty far away, isn't he? Because he's in the Defense against the Dark Arts Tower? Maybe we like shouldn't have our winter coat if we're literally just like running around the castle. Wait, there's another chest here. Where is this chest? Rebellion. Oh, there's stuff up here. Look, there's stuff over here. Do I need level three to get through? Can I... Can I... Kind of rude. Revelio. Like, I literally... Oh, there's toad statues? They're... Okay, go ahead. I found like this. A There's a toad statue. Sorry, we're fully. <laughs> I forget about these places. I wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly? Wholehearted. I can't talk. Yeah, wholeheartedly. Forget, okay? <laughs> but like. So those like out of sight, out of mind. Rebellion. Nice troll. My gear slots are full. Because of course they are. Just a door? Not a door, just What? It 
Did I? Did I come from this one? Nope. Oh, I hate it. Should we just like trash something? Should we just get rid of it? No, you're slow. Like, shall we just destroy it? They all are like the same gear slot. Can we just destroy that? I feel like we have a lot of hats we could probably. There. <laughs> Is that better? My gear slot. Oh my lord. Can I open it now? We love the toad statues. <laughs> the last part, I feel like they're haunting me. Okay. Cool. There's another one. We're just gonna. We will still do the third trial. Don't you even worry about it. I'm like, I do so much exploring on my own. There are just places I generally forget exist. Like. Rebellion. Alchemy. Oh, you got me excited. I was like, is that a blessed Dedalian key that I need? <laughs> Well, cute. Look at us. Oh, can we open this one now? Oh my goodness. We just are so many things. Like this? And the dang clockwork? Like, lobby where we had like the dueling club thing? That is what I'm trying to find. But <laughs> I'm. Bailey. Horrifically. It's a, a Debbie guy statue. Okay. Okay, we're gonna make it nighttime. Cause we found a Debbie guys. Does this count as being the one in the bell tower wing? Heck yeah. Mine now, Demi guys. Mine now, Demi guys. <laughs> we did it. Rebellion. Okay, so there's a dragon thing up there. Can we see it? Oh, it is way up there. Dang. Glad we were able to see that. Anything as we go, you know? Never be too safe. The dang portrait room! Still confused, which is me. Like, we heard about this. Someone told us the story of this, how you can see the portraits because the little girl's father was a werewolf and they killed it. 
and it was like, is she gonna be a witch or a werewolf? But I don't know what Revenia. what we can do with these though. I don't know. Can I cut them? Revenia. Worth a shot. See, we just learned the spell where we do stuff. Okay. We will continue on our way. <laughs> like this whole area? Like what? You heard those gargoyle gargoyle gargoyles talking? Is this a no. It's just a cabinet. Yeah, so I need to stop using the flu powder network so I can figure out how to get places. <laughs> like, actually go places. I do know how to get the, to the defense against the dark art. Because mm -hmm. I see... Like, literally all roads seem to lead to the Dark Arts Tower. Like, I've been like, oh, what's over here? Then if I go through here, maybe this will take me. Nah, it always, it always takes me here. Ugh. I also just love the snow, and I don't want the snow to end, which is why I feel like I'm avoiding the main quest, because then... It's gonna be spring and the snow's gonna be gone and I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> Do y'all understand the pain? Okay, first though, how many demi guy statues do we have? Because I feel like we've collected do I have a... Oh, it's Lila. We're like, how do you... How many of these schemes do I have? We have 13. Oh my gosh, we can learn. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna talk to him first and then we are going to... Do this one, because we found 13 moons. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Even though I just want to go running to him and be like, why? Look at the boots I found for you. Again. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A what? polyjuice <laughs> potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait. Doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And <laughs> take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. What? Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. <laughs> but my cool outfit. <laughs> Damn, bro. Six for one. Oh, my God. How do you feel? 
incredible. Oh my god. I won't god. forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robot. Damn, bro. As we discussed, you will need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. This is such I a weird concept. In the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. Damn, bro. Look at her get up. Wow. Mm. Damn. We kind of. We kind of looking like a daddy. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor. I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, <laughs> Sharp. I don't this have all This is so day. awkward. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office <laughs> when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir. I'm I dead. Insist. I'm dead. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now to determine which student gets this rather unenviable. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. What are we? We're, imagine just seeing the headmaster sprinting. What the want? Gareth. Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. In all sorts of places I'd rather be right now. <laughs> Do you need something from I'm me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, <laughs> sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. <laughs> and I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir... I haven't been anywhere near Honey Dukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes <laughs> and ears so everywhere. sassy to our friends? On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> well, well, there's one for my diary. <laughs> I just want to run around. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. <laughs> like, that'd be so bizarre to just see him just, just sprinting through the halls. Imagine. Wait, I passed it? Where are we going? I got lost. We are really lost. What the heck? Is it Master? Yeah. What could he want? Hello. Mr. Gaunt! Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. 
Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Ominous nose. Okay. Something is very wrong with Professor Black. Isn't he improved? Can I just zip zap boop over there? Because this is <laughs> not going well. Yeah. I can't. Great. Okay. Is it just like Gosh, paste. making me talk to people? Also, I'm like, maybe I do rely too much on this to tell me how to get where I'm going. It told us to go back up, though. See, now it's saying to go over there. Isn't it outside? Can we just... What? What? I can't go out the front doors? Of my own castle? I can go over here, but I can't go out the frickin' front doors. How? What? I'm so confused. It... What? <laughs> What's happening? Okay. Y'all, it was embarrassing how long it took me to do this. I had to end up just like closing out of the game to get these fucking doors to open and I'm pissed about it. Okay? It's nothing happened. Too much time. I discovered the West Wing though while I was running around Professor, and I found I the clock to... tower place I wanted to go. We literally ran around the entire castle. It was it was great. Professor Black. Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to- What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I- You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scorpion in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Well! <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? You call that a shine on those boots? <laughs> Do better! Alright, Juliet, tell them how you really feel. She's just playing you know, out this inner rage she has, apparently. Oh no, it's the headmaster and he's coming this way. What's up? Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? How does everyone know where my house off is? 
But I don't think I've ever seen his house off before. I wonder almost daily why I accept- Professor? A word, please. What? Hello, Professor Blanc. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might- um, What the hell's happening in the background? About Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I Sorry, confess I do right worry now. for the students. <laughs> He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you Wild cannot him. believe everything you hear, <laughs> Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. Uh, simply <laughs> wonderful. I, well, I, um, thank you. <laughs> but I'm happy to look into uh, Good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. What the hell? Wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I do not understand that. What? Did you just annihilate? I to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Did you just annihilate the suit of armors while we were just having this conversation? Y'all heard that too. Like, <laughs> that was bonkers. What a wonderful job Scrope is doing. Oh. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Oh. Remind me of the passwords to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the black family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. Oh, I, don't I, know, I uh, know that. Master does remember it. Uh. It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. <laughs> it is always pure. Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. You don't deserve Scrope. He's precious. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ahem. Attention, uh students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. That is amazing. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. I'm dead. We made it half a right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Alohomora. I don't even know if I know how to get to the headmaster's office. I have no idea. Bye. 
Loading. Your slots are always full, aren't they? Just get rid of them. Only keep like the expensive stuff. In my adventuring as Headmaster Black, though, I will say I found some some very exciting things, like some demigod statues. But did I did I wait? No, because I couldn't do a lot of things as him. So just know there are little demigod statues out there that I saw. That I didn't claim. So I was just trying to figure out how to leave the dang castle. <laughs> oh, we have been up here before. Because this isn't Gryffindor Tower. No, it's Ravenclaw Tower. Because the Gryffindor common room is somewhere over here, too, right? I just know. Now that we have like newfound things, probably some stuff here. Goblet of fire casket! Oh my god, I love it. Just because we've never really come up here. Oh, more! House elf armor! Oh my god, all the field pages. We obviously Rebellion. don't get out much. Centaur armor. Is there more over here? No, but there's a quest out there. Maybe... Are these doors? Oh my god, these are doors. Oh, I don't... Oof. How do we get out? This single door? Is this a door? No. Rebellion. How do I know which ones of these are doors and which aren't? Door? The single ones are doors. Oh, this is confusing. I kind of feel like I'm losing my mind. Whoosh. Oh. I dang it. We're about to learn it because we have 13 moons. <laughs> so we're on our way. Rebellion. Big chest. Little chest. Oh my gosh. What kind of key do you need? There's a butterfly. The That's where I need to speak the password. Lumos. Where the frick is that? Is 
is it down the stairs? Hello, I almost didn't go that far because I'm like, it would be that far, and then I like caught um, the top bit, and I was like, that's it. That's literally one of our flights. Okay, we'll definitely have to come back, or I might come back here. In my own time. And explore and do some stuff up here. Toujours pure. Oh, I didn't get the freaking. <laughs> the like most obvious field guide page. All right, now we can focus. It looks so cool. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. There's so many field guide pages, sleeping portraits. Same. <laughs> wow. All right, so we'll have to come back here Hello, when we're Laura. cool with our level three. Wait, can we come back here though? Sure, we can, right? What is this? Wait, it's an exterior door? So, where? A level three. You know what? Should I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Time to have a crazy idea. Don't think. Because we've already, like, quote, it's started see the you. trial. All thanks to Professor Dang Fitz's it! thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Now drink his tea. That must be the pedestal. What? A weird. <laughs> Revenia. A sorting hat. Okay, so yeah, we should definitely be able to come back here with the amount of, like, stuff there is. It says that we can take this page, or this page is something. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to take the page and it's like, here, eat the apple. Hair tonic, mustache wax, something. Probably in a very small part. Maybe we'll do something straight. like his affairs are we in the chamber of secrets because we got just got sucked into a diary <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy 
crazy. I'm crazy. I feel like this is going to be a long part, so I apologize. <laughs> Just because of all the shenanigans we did. Where am I? Early on. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place. It's you may call me me. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as attention. they seem. I'm choking on my candy though, I'm sorry. Swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. Is this like... Is this gonna be like the telling of the Deathly Hollows? In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. When I could. This is so scary. <gasps> this is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. I need to time this just right. Straight ahead. Oh, my God, she got jump scared. <laughs> like, what the heck? This looks really cool. How can this happen? But this is a ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Kind of horrifying. Girl. I'm like, girl, you climb that ladder right now. Dark long room. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Look how many are on the mini map. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. We're going for that house? where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. <laughs> Homegirl doesn't like to run, that's all I gotta say. Girl, you're giving me like Lucas vibes right now from um, Plague Tale Innocence where you're holding me back because you can't fucking run. Nothing this way but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's 
no getting past them that way. No, no. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. What doorway? If you would walk. We shouldn't have run back. I don't think we were supposed to run back. Now I'm going to have to do it all again. Aren't I? Hopefully it's just from that point. Oh my god. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Oh my god. Girl, you need to learn to walk faster. <laughs> you need to learn to crawl. Girl, we're not supposed to be seen. And you're out here literally creepy crawling. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. That doorway looks like the only safe way yeah, forward. Yeah, we can only creep you through here. Let's just watch and see where they go. So he's gonna come over here. This dude's gonna stay over here. Now's my chance. Dear Lord. He's just a, a raid. Like, what is this place, though? That's the way forward. So you're just gonna walk willy nilly. It's the invisibility cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Are we gonna be? The master of death. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Stop it right now. Are we gonna have like be the holder of the Deathly Hallows? In book form? Because obviously this isn't like This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? Next, are we gonna need to find the wand? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Stop. Do not squander its extraordinary power. It's literally the Elder Wand. Stop it. I knew. From the beginning, this is where this was going. I saw the bridge. I saw the drawing. I knew what was up. <laughs> I've never felt such power. Are we gonna murder our way through this? What it? <laughs> they said these are the only spells you're gonna use. Oh, like breaking the game using it's chickens.
Okay, so it's just health potions. Stop it! It's <laughs> uh, fine. I just yeeted myself off a cliff. It's fine. Um. Cool. Should we grab the potion? Why not? I'll use all the health I can get. Okay. We got this. Round two. Let's bring him over here. This is the fighting arena. I want to fight it. I was like, please don't fall off the edge. I just tried to collect little orbs. I can't even see. I don't like that it's like, I don't know what my, where my spells are, you know? They're not in their usual little spots. Like these aren't. Oh shit, I shut my feet. Got wrecked. I didn't use the chomping cabbages. What did I say? Uh, you use the chomping cabbages in the next fight. Secrets? Another healing potion? Look at that. Now we're full on healing potions. Does this mean there's gonna be like a big fight? This looks like where I'm going to fight a big bang, doesn't it? <laughs> going to fight death himself, apparently. I can't use my chomping cabbages in this room.
I guess we can go ahead and like... I want to use it on the troll though. I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm not doing too hot. I forgot that if we pulled it down. Oh, why? Blah, blah, blah. I pressed Z. I hadn't grabbed it yet. I need him to throw shit at me, though. Not run me over. Is that it? Okay. You had me a long time to defeat it and it had me nervous. We're getting pretty good at Stupefy, and I don't really know what I'm doing. Just saying. Complete this battle in six minutes? Y'all, are you crazy? You crazy? Okay, first off... I need to collect all those. Wait, see, thank you. Fuck me, yo. Okay, we need to focus on these little dudes. From who? guy literally has full health. Oh, I want to use it on the closest truck.
I so focused. I'm so sorry right now. Fuck, wrong one. Wrong. Defender. Don't give me more. We can beat it <laughs> three minutes. We did it, or four minutes. Was it in four minutes? Fuck me, bro. I. <laughs> you probably hear me breathing. I was so focused. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it won't give me. I just want different specs. But now, who, what? So, we're gonna see the resurrection stone. But I'm curious of the, like. Are we? Are we gonna get to do all three? I don't know what the resurrection stone would be about, though. Like. Do we have a past lever? This must be for me. Are we gonna bring her back? Wait. Wait. Are we gonna bring her back? You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. She's gone. Oh, poor Neve. Come, let us always honor her memory. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. Does she? Does she get brought back? What? You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Weird. It's another but there is no statue. light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Okay, we have to focus. Sometimes I forget to focus. <laughs> But we gotta pay attention, okay? Pay attention. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? I mean, Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. That it happens, I do know. 
It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Maria, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Whoa. So I guess that's what's in these reservoirs, these magic that Zadora has extracted from people? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Interesting. I don't know, I feel like in every turn I'm like, are they going to be the bad guy? <laughs> you know, I'm just like, wait, but what about them? You know? Rebellion. We didn't have to fight any knights or anything. Can we talk about that for a second? Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is. And I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. We really got it. Did they not talk? Do the four of them mind. not talk we that we gotta explain this damn story every time? Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bacar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragbor. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganac? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. 
I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Well then. I guess. Oops. Step in. Guess that was the third trial then. I, this makes me so sad. We're like, we're over halfway through. It's crazy. Like, like uh, prepare for your owls. Okay, so we really need, I'll probably do this. Maybe in the next one, we'll do the like, sweeping the competition and see what else is out there. But dang. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. Here we I go. apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final candies piece. This is what we're waiting for. <laughs> Give me some new quests. Alright, I guess that's it. But <laughs> thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!